This video is supported in part by Tommy and the Order of Cosmic Champions. If you enjoy The NeverEnding Story and Masters of the Universe, this new novel coming fall 2022 is right up your alley. I am not typically the kind of person that chases down news articles and headlines and rumors and creates YouTube videos about them, because that's really just not what I'm about. But every once in a while, an article comes along that's so important to me that I absolutely want to speak to you, the kind of viewer who digs the kind of stuff that we dig here at Gen X Grown Up. And in this case, an article that came across my desk today is just such an important event. As reported just a couple of days ago on Gamer Braves, Howard Scott Warshaw announces Yars Revenge sequel decades after the release of the original. Now, of course, I will throw a link to this original article down in the description of this video, but man, there are a few key points that I've got to talk about, and it's you that I want to talk to about them. First and foremost, this is a genuine sequel from the mind of Howard Scott Warshaw, who created the first Yars Revenge. It's not Yars Return, it's not Yars apostrophe S Revenge that was on the Xbox and later on PCs, that was that on rails kind of bug shooter, not a Yars Revenge game as far as I'm concerned. This game that's in development goes back to the mind that created the original Yars Revenge that I spent countless hours sitting cross-legged in front of my TV playing. He has ideas in his head that were untapped, things that he says in this article he always had in his mind and he's not yet seen done anywhere else in other games. And he's gonna be able to pack it into a brand new sequel to Yar's Revenge. Another thing he says almost offhandedly in this article is that, yes, I've signed on to do this, and this is one of many products coming under the Yars Revenge banner for Atari's 50th anniversary. What products? What other cool things? I mean, am I finally going to get a Yars Revenge hat? Am I finally going to get some Yars Revenge, you know, a hoodie and some shirts? What are they doing? Because it sounds like maybe Atari recognizes just how important Yars Revenge is to original Atari fans like me and you and they're giving it some love in the franchise. Look, listen guys, it's not, everything doesn't have to be Asteroids and Centipede and Breakout. There are a lot of great titles that weren't in the arcades that we spent probably more time with playing than we did those arcade classics. So the fact that this is not just a sequel, but a revival of Yars Revenge, possibly, crossing my fingers, that's fantastic news. And one more very telling nugget of information I read in this article is from the mouth of the man himself, where he says, look, this is not gonna be an Atari 2600 game, but it's going to be built in mind of what the limitations were of the Atari 2600. And I think back to the fact that, look, the original Yars Revenge was going to be a port of Star Castle until Warshaw had the wherewithal to go, look, the Atari can't do what you need to do for that game, but I have a great idea to take those kind of mechanics and mechanisms and build a brand new game around them. And that, of course, was Yars Revenge. Now, when I think about a possible, genuine, real, authentic sequel to Yars Revenge, there are some key things that I think that game has to have and retain from the original. I mean, you need the Yar, you need to be battling the Kotile, uh, he probably has to have some kind of shield you have to break down. And what has been typical with Atari things recently is that, hey, you add power-ups and you add a new kind of visual style. But this is not being produced by a sneaky box in Atom Vision, as far as I know, or at the very least, it's being executive produced and designed by Howard Scott Warshaw himself. So you gotta think those things are there. But what else is in his brain that is left over from his days at Atari that he wants to bring to a revival of Yars Revenge? I know I, for one, am just absolutely stoked to find out. While we all wait for more news in the coming weeks and months as the Atari 50th anniversary really ramps into high gear, I wanna know from you. Sound off in the comments below. What are the things you think absolutely must be in a Yars Revenge, a genuine, a real, authentic, finally, Yars Revenge sequel? What must it have? What must it not have? What do you envision could be in this forthcoming sequel? And while we all wait, I invite you to check out this video I did not long ago where I call out the top 10 things you probably didn't know about Yars Revenge. A few of them I mentioned in this video you might have picked up on. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you in the comments and see you next time. Bye-bye.